Hi, I'm Katie, and this is your Galco Industry News Update. This week, we're talking about an industrial revolution, the world's smallest diode, and how Eaton's LEDs are lighting up sports arenas. The Industrial Revolution was a major turning point in civilization. A predominantly Argarian and rural landscape transformed into an urbanized and industrial one. Experts suggest that the Internet of Things and similar technology may be just as likely to transform society as the first Industrial Revolution. Several big changes are already driving new industries and growth to record levels. Some specific technologies are poised to become major parts of the world economy, all within the next decade. Bitcoin and other blockchain technologies is a potential turning point. Experts answering a recent survey administered by the World Economic Forum believe that 10% of the global GDP will be stored on blockchain technology by 2025. IoT experts expect 10 trillion connected devices within 10 years. While Cisco estimates the IoT market will reach nearly $15 trillion in revenue within the same period. Buyers can expect home management systems, driverless cars, and wearable technology. Manufacturers have also taken great strides in advanced robotics and artificial intelligence. In the first half of 2015, 14,000 robots valued at $840 million were ordered by robotics companies in North America. And the world's smallest diode has been created using a single DNA molecule. A team of researchers at the University of Georgia and Ben Gurion University created a diode so small that it can't be seen under your typical microscope. The DNA molecule designed for the study is just 11 base pairs long. By comparison, the human genome has approximately 3 billion base pairs. Researchers added a molecule called coralline to the helix to allow current to flow along the DNA strand. The current flowed in one direction 15 times stronger than in the other, similar to how a diode functions. The team chose DNA for the experiment because it is very difficult to create silicon components at that size. Today's common semiconductor nodes have a width of 22 nanometers. Companies like IBM are investing heavily in semiconductor fabrication to push those sizes down to 14 nanometers, then eventually 10, and even just 7 nanometers across. The future of molecular electronics is bright. Components scaled to molecular sizes could mean wonders as engineers figure out how to equip consumer and the commercial electronics with ultra-small semiconductors. And Eaton's adding sports lighting to its LED portfolio. In November of last year, Eaton Corporation acquired Ephesus Lighting, a manufacturer of LED lighting solutions for indoor and outdoor sporting venues and industrial applications. Ephesus specializes in high output controlled lighting solutions that harness advanced electronic design technology to bring lighting into the digital age. The manufacturer was already prominent in North American sports and entertainment venues before, installing lights in college stadiums and arenas nationwide, most notably in the University of Phoenix Stadium for the 2015 Super Bowl. Their recent work since Eaton's acquisition is just as impressive. An LED lighting system was installed at Bridgestone Arena in Nashville, Tennessee for this year's National Hockey League All-Star Game. And in early April, a brand new LED lighting system debuted at Globe Life Park in Arlington, Texas, 
home of the Texas Rangers Major League Baseball team. The Solid State Lighting System at Globe Life Park uses Ephesus Stadium Pro Lights and DMX Control System and features several world firsts. The system interfaces with existing technology already at the venue, including the primary scoreboard and the ribbon boards throughout the park. It is the only system to feature full 0 to 100% dimming. Touchscreen controllers can create dynamic lighting scenes and effects. Color temperature can be tuned to maintain luminescence levels on the playing field. And the system boasts a self-contained fiber optic communications network that is immune to electronic interference. All of this can be achieved with 75% energy savings compared to traditional lighting systems. That is it for this week's industry update. Tune in next week for more of the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.